guys, how are you doing? Today is finally that day that we're going to test the BMW M2 CS. Yeah, the Alcantara wheel already shows it that this is the most special M2 version that you can currently get. And there are some nice parts in this car. Besides the trim, of course, that it has the manual transmission. So we will be chasing the numbers to 100, 200. And of course, also want to see how fast it really is. 100 to 200. From a subjective feeling, it feels a lot faster than the M2 that we owned with 370 HP and the manual transmission. It also feels faster than our BMW M4 competition that we had, which more or less has the same engine. But I guess without further talking, put everything in sport, put it in the manual, let's say, mode for the traction control, and then let's head out on the Autobahn and see how fast it really gets. <laughs> Let's now see how fast the M2 CS goes from 1 to 200. I think transmission uh, ratio is again in the case that I only have to shift once, starting at third and then just shifting once to fourth should be enough. We did some pretty astonishing times. Honestly, I did not expect that the car has that performance from 100 to 200. But first start with the 0 to 100 time. 4.4 seconds on the drift box was our best try. And I think that is very, very respectful because I never got a faster number with our M4 competition that has, of course, a double clutch transmission. And this one only is manual transmission. So that shows that there's the better traction in this car. And let's say even with my granny gear shift, I can manage a same to the same time from 0 to 100 as in our M4 competition. Secondly, the number from 100 to 200 is the number that amazes me even more because we managed to do an 8.6 seconds 100 to 200. Actually, I did two runs reaching that same number, so I guess that's very reproducible um, and it feels pretty powerful as well. That means, first of all, I think that is six or seven tenths faster than our M4 competition was with the same horsepower and that dual clutch transmission whereas this is manual saying it again I think that is very very astonishing and shows how much power really is in this engine I know that this car costs a lot of money um, I agree and had many many days where I also thought okay the price tag of over 100,000 euros at the dealerships is not let's say reasonable for such a small car but if you're looking at, at the car that has a performance in the direction of a Cayman GT4 and is a very very special special and unique as it's limited and has this nice trim inside maybe that price is let's say really reasonable and therefore I guess it's even a good deal. So we are going to have a lot more fun with this car on the country roads. There will be of course videos coming as the pure sound video which you can actually find out it doesn't sound as bad as I thought in the first moment because actually once you are on pull through and outside there's a nice grunt to this engine of course inside is anyhow. So please tune in for all that stuff that we also upload on Instagram some nice photos reels and of course stories about the sound so stay tuned about the behind the scenes stuff and yeah let's enjoy this M2 CS one more time. Yeah. 